are there specialized treatments for chronic pain? In this video, we are going to talk about the chronic pain management in physiotherapy. Hi, I'm Meher. I'm a physiotherapist in Neuro Rehab and I'm going to talk about specialized physiotherapy management for chronic pain. There are many different therapy techniques which are available to treat the pain. So it can be divided into manual therapy and electrotherapy. So I'm going to take you through this separate therapy techniques, how it will help in reducing the pain. Manual therapy is a hands-on treatment which is done by professionals. It includes joint mobilization, um, stretchings, uh, MFR, dry needling, all that. And electrotherapy basically includes electrical mo modalities which is used to reduce the pain. Joint mobilization. It is the technique of gently moving the joint in different ways. It is done by the therapist and it will help the to increase the flexibility of the joint and thereby reduces the pain. Myofacial release or MFR technique which aims at releasing the connective tissue surrounding the muscles. It relaxes the muscles, joint flexibility and thereby reduces the pain. There is a technique called muscle energy technique where there is a contraction and relaxation of the muscle which is performed by the therapist and it will help to increase the range of motion of the joint and joint mobilization and thereby it reduces the pain. Have you heard of trigger points? Trigger points in the muscles can actually cause pain. So dry needling is a technique where very thin needle is inserted to this muscle trigger points which will help to relieve pain by relaxing that trigger points. So dry needling can release tension and promote healing thereby reducing the pain and which will help in stimulating the natural process of healing. K-taping or kinesio taping. It you may have seen in sports uh, injuries and all. The, the, it, it is a tape which is used to strike or pat in specific areas of the body, which will help in releasing the pain. It improves muscle function and enhance circulation and thereby release the pain. Coming to electrotherapy. Electrotherapy, I'm, I'm sure if you have gone to any physiotherapy clinic, you may have seen the electrotherapy modalities and people love to use electrotherapy modalities. So how electrotherapy works is it will block the pain from the pain pathway and also helping the blood circulation and also will re help in release of endorphin uh, hormones which are the natural painkillers in the body. There are various uh, modalities which is used by the therapist uh, for treating the pain. Uh, among that which is widely used is TENS. TENS is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation which uses low voltage current for the treatment. IFT. It is also widely used in which a low frequency current is applied. It uses electrodes which is placed in the body and the current will be passing through it and it will help in uh, improving the blood circulation and thereby reduces the pain. Ultrasound. The crowd favorite. It is a sound base which is used in ultrasound therapy which helps in deep heating and uh, it will promote the blood circulation and it is a very famous technique which is used for pain release in uh, electrotherapy. So basically these are the widely used electrotherapy modalities and there are many other therapy modalities like hydrotherapy, IRR, short waves, lasers which is also used for pain release. Pain can be considered dangerous when it is radiating, as in it is radiating like when the, uh, for an example, when the pain starts in the chest and it radiates to the left side of the hand. And also when the pain is uh, very excru excruciating, it's like very intense, it's not resolving even after rest. When the pain is making the patient lose weight unintentionally, when it's affecting your day-to-day -day activities and a pain that wakes you up from sleep and a pain uh, which is not resolving even after taking some medicines. So all this can be considered as a dangerous pain. And remember that chronic pain may not be associated with all the physiological or musculoskeletal problems only. It may, it may be from the emotional and the psychological aspects too. So we'll be explaining about this in the upcoming video.